Hey, what's up, man? It's Mike Mal. We're here in Stillwater for Iowa versus Oklahoma State. And I got to tell you, man, being here during match weekends is awesome, man. Stillwater has some of the best wrestling culture in the world. So we kind of, we, we want to get a feel for what you should be doing on match weekend if you're coming here to watch a duel. So we got Boo Llewellyn that's going to take us around campus and show us what we should be doing. What's up? Got oh. the doors locked on you. <laughs> Howdy. How are you, man? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah. All right. How about yeah. this? 91% of our, all duels won by OSU at GIA since 1939. So you're saying that, like... We've won 91% since then. Here. That's bananas. It's 1939. That's pretty crazy. On the back side of this... Right. They got the freestyle wall. So tell me what we're going to do today, man. Man, I'm going to take you through Heritage Hall first, uh -huh. show you some history, uh -huh. and then uh, take you to the Hall of Fame. Right. You can't miss that. So other than that, we'll go to Eskimo Joe's and get some cheese fries. All right. Is the that best. the thing to do? Yeah, that's a good thing to do. All right. Let's do it, man. All right. Let's do it. So the Heritage Hall, this is like basically all the history from Gallagher Iba. It's got like, and basically the school, it's got all the history from when we were back in, we were called A&M. Right. Oklahoma A&M. Yep. Right. And so uh, it's got. When did it switch over? You know? Uh, that's a good question. I probably should know that. <laughs> but there's the tiger. So this is like when it first started. So this, so this is before it was the Cowboys. Right. It was Oklahoma A&M. Yep. Tiger. One of the cool things to me about Stillwater and 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 wrestling just in general. Right. Is like, if you know, yeah. you know. Oh, right. Yeah. So there was a woman today, in in the breakfast uh, area for at the hotel uh -huh. and she had an Oklahoma A&M sweatshirt on yeah. and I'm like, all right lady, I'm with yeah, you. She I'm with you. Yeah, she <laughs> right? knows. So, but yeah. hey, even back then, 1928, we're NCAA champions in wrestling. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's got all the, I mean, some old pictures right there. They used to wrestle on carpets. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. crazy. Like you see, you see these videos of guys like Blue Ball. And oh yeah. And, they're yeah. just on like a tarp. Yeah. Know? And then this is like, this is what's crazy to me. They got numbers written on them. So that's how they Is tell. that really written that's, on them? That's not. No, that's on the picture. But that's oh. how they told who was who, where they were lined up at. Huh. It's still the same font. Like, look at that though. It's like, it's from the 20s and that's basically still the same font. It's still, like, you still say, oh, that's definitely OSU. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it, yeah. even though it says Oklahoma, Oklahoma A&M. Yeah, you can tell. That's pretty dope. And then here, here's Coach Gallagher. Back in the day, that's him right there. He was a wrestling coach. Yep, right there with the, the Letterman's jacket on. Not many arenas yeah. around the country are named after, after the wrestling, wrestling coach. Coaches. Yeah, not many. No, yeah. right? Like, I can't. Yep. I don't know. There's, there can't be many. Yeah, he's a, a big part of wrestling success and I think for the whole country. Sure. So, this is basically all cross country. We've got everything in here on this side. This is all AM before they went to. The Cowboys. Right, right, right. So the old Pistol Pete. That thing's creepy. Dude. That's pretty that cool. Thing's, that thing's gonna give me nightmares, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wild oh, this is actually like so. Was this fashioned after a real dude? Like, oh, Frank Eaton. Yeah, there he is. Huh. So this is all the national championships from the university. So the 2018, golf got the last one. We're slacking. <laughs> need to pick it up, man. Pretty good. What's funny too is the uh, national championships for golf was up the road and uh, it's here in Stillwater. Right. But it's right up the road on Highway 51 when you come into Stillwater. Is that right? Yeah, so. And that's where they played the national championship? Yeah, this year and they won it. So that's pretty cool. Are you winning your national championship at home? Yeah. <laughs> How about that? That doesn't happen often. Coach Smith. Uh-huh. Beast. There he is right there too, holding the world. <laughs> well, he was a lot prettier back then. <laughs> he got some miles yeah. on him now. Yeah. You guys put miles on him. Yeah, we do. <laughs> some more Coach Smith. There's Alex Derringer and Jordan Oliver over here. All the history. Do people, do people know that Garth Brooks went here? 
See, now, and then, you know what's funny? That's where uh, he went to my high school. Did he really? Yeah. So you grew up where? Yukon. Yukon. Yeah. What was it like growing up? Like, because that's kind of in the shadow. Of, like, was it just a foregone conclusion? I'm going to OSU. Oh, no. No? Uh -uh. Tell me about it. Tell Man, me about I, got, I got pinned by uh, Joe, Joe Smith, uh -huh. Uh -huh. my freshman year at State. And I was like, man, I don't know. Really? Oh, yeah. I got, so, what, so tell me, what were you thinking? Were you going to go somewhere else? Oh, yeah. I was like, I'm going I'm to beat him. That's what I was thinking. Really? So I had, a, I had a poster signed by Coach Smith and uh, who else was signed it? Johnny Hendricks, some other wrestlers over here at the time. Huh. And uh, went home, ripped it up. Really? I was pissed off, and I was like, I ain't never going there. Really? Yeah. And so what so, changed? So then I was uh, just, man, he called me, uh, I want to say my junior summer. I don't know, whenever that deadline is when they can start talking to you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he asked if I wanted to come up for a RTC practice. Mm -hmm. So I came up, and, and he started talking to me a little bit, and I was like, my dad and me left practice, and I was like, that's where I'm going to end up going. Really? Yeah. What was the difference? Like, meaning, so, what so happened the, at that practice? So, the RTC practice, back then it was like, man, the, I don't know, the, like, state of Oklahoma, we had a bunch of, like, really good, uh, I don't know, really good talent coming out yeah. of that senior class that we yeah. were in. And so, uh, I mean, pretty much every one of us were up here training. And so, the guys that were, like, recruited, that were great above us, like Gary Wayne Harding and mm -hmm. those guys, they were freshmen coming here mm -hmm. at the time. So. We ended up getting a train with them. So like they were going through their freshman practices with the team, but then coach was making them come back for the RTC practice so that we could get practice soon. With them. Yeah. Right, right. And right. so uh, it's pretty cool. Like, I don't know, we just had like a connection and I could feel like the, the energy in the room. Right. I don't know, it's just a different You took other visits and stuff. Yeah, I had taken a visit to OU and then I took one in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And I, I enjoyed them. I, I really liked Nebraska. That was actually where I was kind of initially thinking I was going to go. Mm. But then when he called me and I came up here, I was like, yeah. This is it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh, we're like, we're going to check out Hall of Fame. Yep. Now, that so was we'll the go back first out that thing way. that I did when I got to Stillwater. Really? Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll never forget the first, like, uh, I checked in at Bennett Hall, uh -huh. right? And they gave me a key and I didn't even go into my room. I just went I straight went over. right over the Hall of Fame. So yeah. we're going to go check out the Hall of Fame. Let's do it. They're just testing the buzzer, I guess. KU today. Women's. Oh, really? Yeah, the women's. Yeah, so here it is. I swear, every time I walk through here, it's like, lights you up. Really? Yeah. Still now. Oh, what yeah. was it like the first time you, you wrestled here, though? Like, this spot, right? Yeah, it was, uh, we wrestled West Virginia. Got a major decision. And it was, I actually was coming off two losses, so it was, it was, uh, it's kind of relieving. I don't know, it's like a, a dream come true, wrestling as a little kid, you know what I mean? Coming up here, watching duels, right. watching Jordan Oliver, Chris Perry, those guys, and then be, having an opportunity to step out there is pretty cool. Well, what do you think it is about the state of Oklahoma that it is just synonymous with wrestling? Man, uh, that's a good question. It seems like every high school, it's it's uh, promoted pretty well by the coaches, or just, I mean, teaching staff, or I don't know. It just seems like I, for myself at my high school, that was like we weren't the best at any other sports. We had a, a lot of really cool facilities and stuff, but it seemed like everybody was pouring into wrestling quite a bit. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. Yeah. You Working hey, away, huh? I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna take them around. Is that all right? All right. Yeah, you want it? Yeah, hey, you got the you got the history facts. Yeah, I've got well, questions. I've got to come on, man. Come on, let's man. go. The very first NCAA tournament, 1928, was at Iowa State University, and the very first NCAA champion of all time was Harold DeMarsh from Oklahoma A&M at the time, which is Oklahoma State now. This rivalry is is not like you know people think of it like it maybe it started with like Coach Gable and, and Co this this goes back. The very, very beginning, absolutely. The yeah. beginning of college wrestling. Cradle, huh? Are you going technique videos right yeah, now? Yeah. That's it. I'll take it over. <laughs> Demonstrate a cradle, here it is. Like, all, we have so many presidents that wrestle, even Donald Trump wrestled at New York Military Academy. We have his bracket in the back. Really? He lost in the first round, but, <laughs> you know, he's on. <laughs> Oh, 
about that? JP. The man. So, did you know that Steve Frazier huh. won both styles? Really? Yeah. So he was the first Greco Olympic champion, uh -huh. but he won a world title. How about that? Freestyle too. How about that? Man, Henry Cejudo. Yeah. That dude's a beast. Yeah. He's a killer, man. Right there. What is it? The International Elites. My absolute favorite pair of wrestling shoes ever, 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 ever. Really? Yeah. I got a pair, and see how they're, they're kind of getting uh, torn up in the toe there? Uh huh. The whole thing on mine looks like that, and it actually looks better. Really? So, yeah, so the more worn these it looks things better. Yeah, the more, it's, it's almost like uh, they look like sweatpants yeah. material. So here's the story, right? Now, I don't know if this is true, yeah. all right? But this is Dietrich, okay, and this is Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor Huge. was, there was no weight limit on heavyweight, right? So the dude was over 400 pounds, he was a monster, right? And the story goes that Dietrich, the day before at weigh-ins, shook his, Taylor's hand, and instead of just shaking his hand, he went up to him and gave him a big hug. He says, hey, congratulations on making it here. Hope to see you tomorrow, this and that. And what he was doing was measuring to see if he can get his hands locked. How about that? And I, again, I don't know if it was true, but first 20 seconds of the match, right? Boom. They slap fans and he locks up, yeah. goes straight back. Taylor, he's nothing but back, right? So yeah. he gets to his back and it was, it was a fall right away. That's it. It's crazy. If he misses, he's dead. He's dead. That's he's it. gonna die. Yeah. All right, man, we saw Heritage Hall. We yep. saw the Hall of Fame. We were at Gallagher Iba. I'm getting hungry, man. What, what we got to eat around here? Man, we're gonna get some bacon cheese fries. From Best where? Joe's. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. man. Yeah, that's what we're known for around here, man. Bacon cheese fries, that's Good the way stuff. to go. I'm in, I'm in, yeah, sold. It's going down. Crazy, man, I used to come here when I was like, Little kid. little kid. So I went to the OSU wrestling camp when I was like eight, nine. Really? I came here after. You gotta be fired up. Hi, how are you? So, um, what you call it? Um, you were saying that you came here when you were a kid. Yeah. Tell me, so you used to go to camps here and stuff? Yep. Came to uh, the OSU, like, so basically the cowboy camp right. for Coach Smith. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let's order. So what is it now? The bacon cheese fries. Yeah, sweet pepper bacon. Oh, sweet pepper, you want regular bacon. Is it spicy? Tell us what's it's not good. spicy. It's like a candy oh. bacon. Okay. Uh, regular bacon's fine. Regular bacon? Yeah. All right. Cool, man. Thanks. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We, uh, we came up, I was like probably like eight. You were eight Seven years or eight. old. You yeah, were here. Steve Mako. Whenever Steve Mako was wrestling here, really? I, I got a picture with Steve Mako. He's like a giant. I'm this little tiny blonde-haired <laughs> kid. But yeah, we came we came here after the after the camp. So I've been coming up here for a long time. That's pretty yeah. cool. Look <laughs> with Mako. Look at this. You need like the size of his leg. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going down. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> These are for real. It's going down, man. Yeah, that's what's up. Put your cheese fries on. <laughs> My wife said, she, honestly, like we just saw it, and uh, she goes, you're gonna eat cheese fries? I'm like, for the camera. She's like, are you gonna eat them? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna eat them. Wow. That was really good. Straight grease. <laughs> <laughs> There's one good thing about being injured, right? Yeah, I guess. That's right. <laughs> Get you some cheese fries. <laughs> Way to take you out, man. Yeah, I guess so. So that's a day in Stillwater, huh? It's a day in Stillwater. That's pretty amazing, man. Thank you yeah. so much. I'll see no you at problem, the duel, man. all right? Sounds good. Go Pokes.
All right, man. Thanks so much to Bulu Allen for showing us around Stillwater, man. We saw the Hall of Fame. We saw Heritage Hall. We ate cheese fries at Joe's, man. What else is there? There's nothing more Stillwater than that, except an Iowa-Oklahoma State duel. That goes down tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central. Don't miss it!